Kluth, where's the team? It's time to do the news. News team, assemble! News team, assemble! Let's go, guys. We gotta start the news. Okay. OMG, I can't eat. And that's why we're just gonna start the news. This Thursday and Friday, the theater department and some of your favorite NHS actors are putting on two one-act plays in the LGI room starting at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5 and available at the door. Park in the teacher's parking lot and enter through grade 12 if you plan on attending. Hey all you Spielbergs out there, are you interested in making movies? Did you miss out on the awesome opportunity last semester with the Ted Lavender Film Festival? Then listen up. The second annual Lawrence, Tor Lawrence Turo Film Festival is being held Friday the 14th. That's this Friday. You can make, the, make a movie, win a majestic prize, just come in to AL at 135. Come to the meeting to learn the rules, make the best movie ever, and become invincibly famous. You might even get the meet somebody famous like Joe Akers, but only if you're lucky. The GSA will be meeting today, March 10th, at 135 in room 256 at the MC. For a pass, students can see Miss Coyne or Mr. Lathery at the MC, or go to the office at the FC. During the week 13 through 18th, IU will be holding their Bulfer Pre-College Academy. This academy is a free five days residential experience that will aid in making the college decision that is best for you. This program helps you with your personal career and academic goals as well as choosing a college. To apply you must be current junior with a GPA of 3.0 or higher. The priority deadline is March 15th. Apply at p16center.educ.indiana.edu. There will be also be a flyer posted outside guidance. Any senior with at least a 3.0 GPA with good leadership traits interested in going to the FBI Leadership Academy needs to stop by guidance for farther information. The Academy will be held July 16th through July 18th. If interested, you will need to write a 500-word essay and fill out an application. There will be no charge for those students chosen to attend this once-in-a-lifetime academy. Attention all you fo future Boilermakers, the Purdue's Women Engineering Department is holding a event for juniors. If you are interested in the event, it is Monday, April 14th from 8 p.m. 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. It includes a free lunch. This will give you a chance to talk with students in facility, faculty, tour the campus, see the residence halls, and explore two areas of engineering. Residence, resi ugh. registration is limited to the first 250 students, so be sure to sign up. Register online at www purdue.edu backslash w-e-i-p. There is also a flyer posted outside of guidance. Herf Jones will be delivering seniors their ordered accessories until tomorrow during all lunches. If you have ordered or still need to order your cap and gown and announcements, please see a sales representative at this time. Students registered to take the J. Everett Light program for the 2014 to 2015 school year, you got to have your application and contract turned in to your counselor no later than Friday, March 7th. If you need the application and or contract, please stop by guidance office. During the past few years, there's been a huge rise in the number of cyber incidents that have been under investigation. There are now over 100 cases reported each year in Hamilton County. Due to this alarm, Sheriff Bowen wants to educate the community on how to protect children from dangerous predators and cyberbullying. So come out to the Hamilton County 4-H Fairgrounds today from 7 to 8. They will be answering questions parents may have. Also, info will be given for summer and spring programs for teens. So Sam, can you still not even? How do I know if I can't even already? I mean, 
Whatever, Samuel. It's time for some sporty sports. Now on to birthdays, lunches, and sporty sports. Well, if I spell it out, if I gather it out, will you hear me when I tell you about what I have to say before it gets too late? It's not easy as I said it'd be, but there's something right about you and me. Something right about you and me. You're the color of a bird or book. You're the color of a sideways love from an undercover cop in a comic book. You're the color of a storm in June. You're the color of the moon. You're the color of the night. That's right. The color of a fight. You move me. You're the color of the colored part of the Wizard of Oz movie. We're like Romeo and Juliet. We're back at it. Yeah, we at it again, you know, doing our thing. Okay, boo boo, let's do that sport thing. Or not. Oh. <laughs> hey, Miller sports fans, tonight at the high school, your first varsity Miller volleyball home game is taking place. You can also see your Lady Miller varsity dance team perform their last game. Be there because volleyball is smash mouth in your face. See kids like Quinn Schlegel and Jacob spike it in Columbus North's face. See Dylan Sonu and Jay Tiles sweep the Columbus teams off the court. Big week in sports is coming up with spring sports starting up with the first practices starting. On Friday, your gymnastics team is going to regionals at Valparaiso High School. Also, your track and field team is going to the Oriole Indoor Classic. Also, everyone needs to come out to watch your Miller boys volleyball team tonight. Varsity and GV both start at 6 p.m. Get off your phone, we're on camera. Oh, sorry, I was just uh, tweeting, bring 50 a cake day to see if I can get my tweet on the announcements. Okay, well, you're already on the announcements, but if any students at NHS want to get their tweets on the news tweet, then hashtag bring 50 a cake day, and you can. And don't forget to follow at NHS Newsroom. See ya. Have a good week.